Welcome to, on the other hand, and welcome to the newest subscribers. So this video might be a little lighthearted and different than the ones I usually do, but in and around the year 2015, hipsters were a plenty. But as far as I can tell, the trend seemed self-defeating. This take probably isn't new here on the internet, especially on YouTube. I think the Idea Channel summed it up pretty well as follows. Hipsters catch a really bad rap. The word hipster conjures some smug guy or gal, Ray-Bans, scarves, a bike that's hard to ride, waistcoats, and pickled local small batch everything. We can pickle that! And the cultural backlash to hipsterdom is huge. So huge, in fact, it's hard to even find somebody who self-identifies as a hipster. So, here's my bias. Being a hipster was all the rage five years ago, and lately I've mostly heard similar flack going towards millennials. And I feel like the hipsters got rolled and lumped into the millennial group. I mean, both are stereotypically known for being unique, having facial hair, man buns, occupying coffee houses, and being activists. And one can choose to be a hipster, but one is literally born into being a millennial. Now, some of you might be asking yourselves, You're a millennial? Maybe, maybe not. You're a millennial, aren't you? Yeah! <laughs> So yes, I am technically a millennial, and maybe this video is all about distancing myself from both stereotypes. I guess you'll be the judge of that. Back to hipsters. I feel like people might think being a hipster isn't popular, or no one identifies as a hipster. But in my book, if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. And I still see a good amount of ducks around. The really weird part about hipsters, for me, is that they are anti-mainstream. But the hipster movement went mainstream. So when everyone's a hipster... <laughs> No one will be. So now, I want to take one of my best friends from college as a juxtaposition to the hipster trend. She loves goats. So much so that her nickname was, and still is, Goaty. She likes them so much, she made me a goat cheese birthday cake one year, which was quite delicious. We ate it with crackers. She liked goats before it was cool, and can tell you the ins and outs of the breeds and where to find them. Wait, were goats ever cool? Are they still cool? What are the kids into these days, anyway? Fortnite? TikTok? And can someone be in their 20s and already sound like a boomer meme? Anyway, Goody also makes some of the best homemade ice cream I've ever tasted, and she didn't even need to pretend to be a nerd because she's an engineer. She can sing really well and taught herself how to yodel over the course of several road trips by herself. Who does that? Goody does. That's who. The point of this is, I feel like hipsters try to be unique, but in flaunting their unique hobbies, they end up as part of the stereotype rather than a unique individual who's interesting. And the people who are truly interesting and unique don't need to flaunt it because they're happy with who they are and what they like. On the one hand, does it make much sense to say that I wasn't a hipster before it was cool? Not really. But on the other hand, I thought it was quite funny. As always, thanks, hope you enjoyed. And for the record, I enjoy seeing comments on subscribers, so... Food for thought.